is Lady Petal here and it's my vlog for the week and today is the 27th of November. Just saying. <laughs> because, you know, if I upload this today, you know, it's Thanksgiving in the States at the moment and uh, I know that uh, a whole bunch of people, you know, we're a day ahead here. <laughs> so, so I say the date, but that's the date in Australia. <laughs> and we don't have Thanksgiving over here. It's like, um, if I think about the public holidays that we have each year, we have Australia Day, which um, commemorates Captain Cook landing in Botany Bay um, with the first, um, uh, you know, plans for European settlement. It's not when Australia was discovered by white people, but, you know, it was you know, instrumental in our uh, national history. And the other thing is we have the Queen's birthday because of course we're still part of the British Empire and we're still a British subject and the Queen is still our head of state. Uh, we have Labor Day, so I'm sure everybody around most countries have some kind of Labor Day public holiday. Um, we also have May Day and that is something similar. Uh, we have Christmas Day, Boxing Day, uh, we have Anzac Day. So Anzac Day is like a Remembrance Day but it's for the commemoration of Australian and New Zealand troops in World War One originally but it's taken on a really huge National Day of Remembrance significance for all of our people who have paid the price and are currently serving in our armed forces. And I'm having morning tea in my beautiful Zen Doodle mug this morning. And on Friday, uh, which is your Thursday, I'm actually going up to do a large commission on a mug that's bigger than this one for a customer in the States. So that's exciting because they saw my mug and said, I want me one of them. So happy mail this week. So I have received some gorgeous happy mail since my last vlog. And my last vlog I actually did in the beginning of last week because I had a lot on at the end of the week. I was cleaning all week for my husband's great big land party. And that went off great, by the way. Gorgeous bunch of guys. Like, I've never met the guys from the Great Ocean Road, Tasmania and Melbourne. They were fabulous. And, you know, it was a great weekend for Jeremy. And I went away on my art retreat at Tambourine. And I took some f um, footage, which I'm going to piece together a bit um, and do a little bit of a promo um, to see if there's interest for for me running an artist retreat sometime next year. I think at this stage I'm looking at August next year for an artist retreat and I'm only looking at running one but if there's a lot of interest I'll, obviously I will look at running more of course. So that was a fabulous weekend and I worked on a lot of super secret projects that I can't show anyone. <laughs> But I did um, Tamara Laporte's uh, uh, World, of Wh World of Whimsy Course 2, which I bought as part of my life book subscription. And so I spent the whole weekend basically, you know, practicing whimsy, whimsy girls, whimsy animals, um, different ways of drawing whimsy eyes and whimsy noses and whimsy mouths, <laughs> all sorts of whimsy face shapes, whimsy hair, all sorts of things. And uh, so that went really, really well, and I, I'm having lots of fun with that at the moment. Uh, I'm working on some gorgeous journal pages for a friend of mine, and uh, yeah, I just, <laughs> I'm kind of in love with drawing these little whimsy girls and boys at the moment. They're really, really cute, and adding little angels' wings and little animals and all sorts of really cute things. Um, I received a couple of letter journals in the mail, so. Um, I had three letter journals, so I had the Australian letter journals, which I've done, and they're all bundled up in an envelope to go to Lisa Bailey. But of course, 
I'm going to post them today because she's in uh, the Margaret River, which is a beautiful and famous part of Western Australia, renowned for the wines they produce. So yay for you, Lisa. Um, so I'm sending uh, Lou's and Ros's journals to you in the one envelope. Uh, and I also got a beautiful journal from my BFF, Vicky, who came up to Tambourine Camp with me. And I tell you what, she did the most beautiful cover, and it's already in an envelope, so I can't show you, but OMG, gorgeous cover, beautiful pages. And this is for someone that said she couldn't get a mojo on. Yeah, well, honey, you got that mojo working for you. Um, and today I got a letter journal in the mail. So Pat Stickley slash Childress, I have your journal. Letha, yay, it came today. And can I say, you wrapped it up divinely. I got these, like, um, schematics papers. Um, and the whole envelope is, like, covered in different washi tapes and am I going to use that yes I am oh and this morning hang on it's like getting happy mail all over again oh loving that all borders a whole big long strip of it awesome that is really cool and some ephemera so I've got this beautiful old sheet music and on the other side of it absolutely loving that that's going to go on a book cover I reckon as part of a collage but I'm loving I love old ephemera and I've got you're going to be a beauty start now and have a look babies <laughs> and on the other side it's like tropical foods and fruits and yeah really cute new velvet suds ivory soap that's what that was a great big ad for velvet suds ivory soap so cool I love really old stuff and I use it all the time <laughs> and I also got I'm trying to remember who sent me these. I think it was in a letter journal. I got two letter journals came home this week. But I got these US stamps and I'm in love with the dolphin ones. Absolutely gorgeous. So I've cut them off the envelope and I'm keeping them. And I must say, both Roz and Nancy, I have used the majority of your Happy Mail already. So Nancy, I have used quite a lot of your Happy Mail on this front cover. There you go, darling. See, I use it. And this is my reference book. So we've got a course going for reference book. Um, if you buy Crazy Island Families, uh, journaling Crazy Island style, um, weekly art journaling prompt course that, with all the lessons for a whole four years subscription, you will get the course on how to create a reference book for free. And I was just talking to Claudia this morning and she's busily doing all these amazing tests and experiments with all her mediums because she's a me the medium queen. And one of the things I love about this project is we all each have our, each of the three teachers have our favourite products. And, you know, I, Gina is paint. Like really, Gina is paint. And hers is like, I don't know, three times wider than that because it's paint. And uh, mine is all different. Mine, I would say, would be um, all different kinds of media, but particularly water-based soluble media, media because I love water-based soluble media. And also I contributed a lot of the ways that we test. So I had started some of my students on a reference book of their own when they first started art journaling because it's easier to start, you know, when you first start and you don't have lots of products and then you add to it. But you have to plan it better if you do that. Then, but we also show you three different perspectives and, and, and Claudia is the media queen, uh, medium queen. And she has, I think she was at last count had something like 20 mediums. Like that's a lot, isn't it? Yes, a lot. That's a lot, as she would say, in her nice, quiet, sweet voice. That's a real lot. <laughs> so I can't wait to see what she does. And we also put recipes in the back of there for you that we've collected as teachers or created over the years for you to be able to possibly, if you're on a low budget or you want to supplement um, your products to create your own. To create your own mediums, your own gesso, mod, mod podge. Mod Podge, I said it right for those of you that hate it when I say Modge Podge. It's not, it's Mod Podge. Um, yeah, so Letha, I'm going to be working in Pat's journal. 
I've got a yen that I will probably work in it and have it out by early next week because I know Christmas mail is just horrible at the moment so um, definitely get that in the mail as soon as humanly possible so that it spends most of its time actually in the post and not on my desk um, which is great really great so what else have I been doing oh the art retreat yes no told you about that uh, I am working on, after I finish doing this, I'm working on Technique Friday and this week's topic will be blue. So this week I'm looking at blue and I can tell you now, I have far more blues than reds. Far more blues. But I'll explain it all with the colour wheel and it's worth doing this. I know a couple of students this week hadn't watched my red blending episode and they were doing, uh, one of them was doing tulips, Sarah, you were doing tulips. and she didn't know how to do it and so I said look I've just done a, a technique blending on reds like the whole thing is devoted to reds and she went oh well I'm using red and I went that's right go and watch my technique Friday <laughs> so, she did she went that so helped me awesome and her tulips look great <laughs> so yay <laughs> so they are there as technical tips for you and I'm doing it that way as a series and they're having their own playlist because you can use them as a reference, as a specific reference for when you want to go and do something. And I give you a couple of cool tips about each of the colours each week. So that, that you know, good the artists know, but if you're starting off, you probably wouldn't think along those lines when you're thinking of each of those colours. So, yeah, that's the way I'm going with with that so this week's will be blue uh, I have uh, my sermon journal that I'm working on at the moment and I've put some sketches in there from some courses that I've been doing and it's coming along really great but I haven't been in as many church services lately so the notes are not keeping up with the decorator pages which is no biggie because once I finish doing the sermon pages that means that I can just write the notes in them which is pretty darn cool <laughs> so, so I'm trying to aim to get one of those out two to three weeks and just bear with me over the Christmas New Year period it's our summer holidays in Australia and you might find that I have some scheduled videos but there are less videos coming on board at the end of December and into January because I'm away on holidays. So I will be looking at doing vlogs while I'm away and showing you where I am and what I'm doing and maybe introduce you to some of my extended family, which would be awesome, I think. After all, well, you haven't even met my family yet. Maybe I should do a Christmas video with my boys. Hmm there's a thought <laughs> you met my mother-in-law and you met my cat and you've met hmm my oldest son is home from school today because he's pretty much finished the school year I know it's not even December and he's finished he's in year 11 which is the second last year of um, high school in Australia and so I'm like wow he's home already oh, I have a built-in housekeeper yay has he done anything this morning yet no <laughs> Well, internet's just not getting turned on for him for a while. Mm -mm -mm. And I tell you what, my friend Vicky, and I put this on uh, Crazy Island Family for there. My friend Vicky is liquidating all of her craft stuff. She's getting out of craft. She has a new flame in her life, and he's gorgeous, and she's just focused on heaps of different things. And the awesome thing that I picked up, apart from a whole heap of distress paints, is a tab punch. So here is some of my things, painted papers. Now, why am I so excited about Tab Punch? Have a look at my reference book and all the tabs. Because if you do any kind of journal where you've got um, subjects or anything in it really, chapters, subjects, anything, um, I can put this at the top and put them down the sides and... Uh, to help me find things quickly in my reference journal because I'm not doing a table of contents that's the sort of thing in this ongoing project that you would do when you filled up your book I think so that would be an exhaustive reference guide but then I would probably look at buying another one and probably rebinding it because you know this thing's never finished 
never finished. Okay, I'm thinking, thinking. Mean Peter has taken a big slice out of my wheat this week. <laughs> so, so, Mean Peter. Ah, oh, Mean Peter. Right. So, when I say Mean Peter, I mean the Peter that will be sarcastic, has dry humour, will look at the silly things in life and glory in them or rail against them because they affect me unduly. <laughs> so, so, this week... Um, I have my cat and she's meowing like right outside my door and I should go and get her. Hang on. Come on, puss. Here you come, quick. Come on. You're on camera. I have brought the puss in. She was whinging outside my door. So, uh, <laughs> now she will completely upstage me. Because, of course, this mug is dedicated to her. Uh, oh, I love my fur baby. Uh, so, oh, mean Peter. Get off my pages, puss. Get off. Oh. Um... So, mean Peter, OMG, people who can't follow rules. Oh, can I just make a note about this, Pat? One thing that should be avoided at all costs is gloss mod podge on letter journals. Can I just put a tip out there for anybody who's doing letter journals? Do not use any gloss mediums to seal your letter journals. Um, if you're going to use them, put them on when you get the completed journal back. Why am I saying this? I'm saying it because in the mail process and the postal process, these things get hot. And when they get hot, those um, mediums soften and then they stick because they come tacky, become tacky. Now, we have found using them, you're better off if you want to seal your pages, use a matte gel medium or a matte medium and then wax them so if you're looking at doing something like that but you should always whilst they're in transit always 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 put wax paper wax paper in between uh, your pages and only take them out so I had a couple of journals come home this week so so a couple of journals come home this week and they were, um, had all the wax pages in between and they really needed it because the pages had been, um, oh, what can I say? Uh, they were, the pages were really, really stuck to the wax paper and so it saved them in the long, and this particular one here has been out and around since May so that's a lot of time it's spent sitting around and in transit it's a really it's the longest going um, letter journal that I've got apart from the ones of mine that are lost um, yeah so that that being said no gloss mediums no shiny gloss mediums don't do it because um, I would hate for anybody's artwork to actually get ruined and um, there to be a problem with it at the end or pages ruined because they stick or anything like that so it's really really important that uh, you you know if you're doing letter journals don't use gloss medium not until right at the end and then be careful of it because pages still stick I found uh, I'm also working this week on um, doing uh, binding a journal for these letter journals now a lot of them have these beautiful beautiful um, I have all different kinds of string and fibers just to give you a bit of an idea all different fibers and strings so when we bind them into a journal
you know you can get this beautiful edge and it's already in there before you even start so uh, I'm going to be doing a lesson on how to bind your letter journals into a book it's different from Gina's I have the idea that I would like to every year embark on uh, a letter journal journal so this has been worked in and this is like a year's worth of work from a lot of different people and I would like it to be its own journal so one of the things that I'm thinking about for that is um, a tutorial where I show you how to bind them now I had an original idea to actually make it so that you could add more in but now I'm convinced that it's probably better to just bind it as is because I have enough. I don't think that I will receive any more before the end of the year um, so it, because some of those groups just won't finish before the end of the year and they'll form next year's journal. So, And I'm like that with my journal pages too. I close them off at the end of the year and then I start a new journal for the next year. Puss, you are completely upstanging me. Sit there. Fabulous. Can't be upstaged by my own fur baby who's prettier than I am. <laughs> so that's coming up, but I am running behind on that because, of course, I have businesses to run. So um, I actually haven't started that project yet, but I will be. I've been... Look, there's a few people that have quite a few of these letter journals now that have been kind of saying to me, okay, well, when's that coming and maybe I should start experimenting. And look, experiment. I'm just going to do it to show you what I'm thinking about doing. And because I'm thinking of not adding any more in, I've decided that I'm going to do it a completely different way than what I was originally thinking. But that's no problem because, you know, it's going to look really pretty. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is the end of my vlog. I just ramble and ramble and ramble and talk too much. But I'll start uh, finish off with learn something new today. It keeps you young. And ciao for now until next week.